guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be a tag video. I was tagged by Tina, otherwise known as Moon Baby Nails. Uh, this is the unpopular opinions tag. <laughs> Which should be fun and sure to annoy a few people. This was originally started by Jodie's... I can't remember exactly what her YouTube name is, but I'm going to link her down below anyway, and I will also link Tina down below, a whole bunch of other people who are part of, like, the nail kind of community have done this as well, um, <coughs> uh, I'm not actually going to tag anybody, if you want to do this you can, I'm not going to tag anybody because most of the people I know have already been tagged at least once, so, um, this is uh, potentially controversial because it's unpopular opinions but nevertheless there are 10 tag questions thoughts whatever you want to call them so let's just get into it the first one is a popular polish that you don't like for me that would be Essie's uh, Where's My Chauffeur uh, this was the pack that this one actually came in because this is a mini. Um, this was the reason I bought it was because this nail polish is apparently like really really good. Um, yeah, it's just I, I I don't find it all that good. It's uh, this is my swatch of it. It's streaky and patchy and and interestingly enough. It looks like a fairly interesting colour. Sally Hansen's Complete Salon Manicure in Barely Bluebell is a very, very similar colour. Slightly, slightly darker, um, but with a much better formula. <coughs> like, heaps better formula. So, this one here is Barely Bluebell. The other one is Where's My Chauffeur. This one has a much better formula than this one. The colour's slightly darker, but close enough to the same thing. So, yeah. So that is my popular polish that I don't really like. Um, a polish, number two, is a polish that everyone hates, but you like. I don't think it's so much that people hate it, it's just that it's it's not considered to be particularly popular and that is China Glazer's holographic range um, I have two of them I have Don't Be a Lunatic and When Stars Collide Don't Be a Lunatic is the better of these two um, they are pretty decent holographic polishes and like, I really really like them wish my camera would focus this one is Don't Be a Lunatic. This one is When Stars Collide. When Stars Collide is not as holographic, but these are really quite decent, nice polishes, and I really like them. Um, they just... People don't seem to like them very much. I mean, they're not the best holographic ever, but this is a mainstream brand. For them to do holographic at all and do it reasonably well is kind of a good thing. Uh, number three is a nail polish finish that you don't like. Um, that would have to be Crackle. This happens to be a polished London Crackle called Union Black. I just... It, um, this is what it looks like over another uh, polished London polish. It's, it's just not a look I particularly like. Although I have to admit, when I did... Um, during the Halloween, last Halloween season, I actually did a nail art where I used a crackle polish and it made it look like, um, like ripped up skin. So, I mean, it has its uses. It's just not a particularly a finish that I like. I also find that it chips really badly every time I've worn a crackle, even with a top coat. It ends up chipping way faster and I, I just, I don't like that. <laughs> basically. Um, number four, a popular brand that you think is overpriced. Now, 
a lot of people have said, like, OPI, um, uh, up in Australia, I can actually get OPI cheaper than I can actually get some other popular brands. Namely, the two that I'm actually going to mention are Revlon and Essie. Revlon, depending on which range you get, like which line you're actually getting, you will get pay anything from $13.95 up to $16.95. Essie is about $15.95 to $16.95, depending on where you buy from. Um, unless, of course, you get it on a really good sale. Which is ridiculous, uh, considering that that equates to, I believe it's about $12 US for a $16.95 nail polish. And I'm pretty sure you're not paying $12 for Revlon in America. Um, yeah, it's ludicrously priced. Um, I can actually get OPI for $10 from Priceline, which is less than these costs in Priceline. Uh, of course, that's not for a mini bottle, it's for a full size bottle. But anyway, I still think they're both ridiculously overpriced in Australia. Um, they might be well priced in other places in the world, but in Australia, uh, Revlon in particular is ridiculously expensive, uh, especially for what is effectively a drugstore brand. Okay, number five, a trend that you can't get on board with. That would have to be nail wraps, like, you know, the Jamboree thing. I know some people are really into it. Um, I have these ones, which I don't know where these ones are from, but I just, I just don't get it. And, and I, I've never liked, like, they've never stayed on my nails properly. They always lift on the corners, which is really irritating, and then I've got to pick them, and then they peel off, and, yeah, so nail wraps is my trend I can't get on board with. Um, number six is a trend that you didn't like at its peak but you now like. Um, actually that would be matte nails. I really, when they first came out, I really was not keen on them at all. Um, I really didn't like the look of it. Um, might have been because most of the na matte nail polishes that I had were not very good mattes. They were kind of crappy mattes. Um, so I always put a glossy top coat on top of any matte polish that I got because I didn't like the look of it. But then I found Rimmel's Velvet Matte line. I don't even know if you can still get these. I have two of these. Um, this one is Mattitude, which is basically the black one. And this is like the mattest matte. And it doesn't want to focus. It's, it's just <laughs> amazing. It is brilliant absolutely love these polishes so yeah matt i have got on board with now so that would be a trend i didn't really used to like but now i do number seven a color that you don't wear often or at all well that would be this color um this is known as grige like a grade or grage a grayed out beige. I uh, don't like beige at the best of times, um, but the grayed out beige is just uh, kind of gross. This one's Sally Hansen's Grige, Grage, however you want to pronounce that word. Um, this one is Sephora by OPI's Dance Till Fawn. I don't actually have a swatch for this one, so I can't show you, but this is what the Sally Hansen one looks like. I just, uh, it's, I do use it occasionally, like these colours occasionally, for like nail art and stuff, but it is not a colour that I reach for very often at all. I seem to have quite a few of them in my collection, though, for a colour I don't really like, strangely. Uh, number eight, a polish that you like but you think is overhyped. This one could be controversial. In fact, it will probably be controversial. Controversial. Charlie Glace is fairy dust. Everybody says what a wonderful polish this is. And clearly, I like this polish because, like, I've used 
a good chunk of this particular bottle of it. The thing is though, maybe when this came out there weren't too many silver holographic toppers, but now there are oodles of them. A lot of them easier to get hold of and less costly, especially in Australia. In fact, just um, for the, the the sake of this is just in my collection and this is actually missing one of them. But these are all silver holographic toppers that all look very much like fairy dust. I mean, can you work out which one's fairy dust out of these? Actually, it's hard to tell because I actually had to put two coats of fairy dust on because one doesn't usually do it for me. But that one there on the end is fairy dust. And so that one's fairy dust. And then there's all the other ones. So it's a good polish. It's, you know, it's nice. It serves its purpose. I use it a lot. I like it. But then I use a lot of other uh, silver holographic top coats, like Sally Hansen's holographic pearls, which is basically exactly the same as this, only this one's denser. Um, like, you need two coats of this to make it look like this. But it's basically exactly the same kind of polish. So, yeah, that is a polish that I think is overhyped. Uh, number nine, a popular top coat that you don't like. To date, there isn't one. I use Sesh Vip all the time. Um, this is my older bottle of Sesh Vip. I know a lot of people complain about it going gloopy when it gets about half full, but what I actually have is I have a big bottle of Sesh Vip, and when I get about half empty, I dump in some from the new bottle, mix it around and it goes back to being like new for a while. So I don't have to put, uh, I have a sesh restore but I don't have to put it in there. I tend to use it to thin out other nail polishes actually. Um, but, so I don't actually have a popular top coat that I um, don't like. Um, I don't really use too many other top coats most of the time. Or if I have used them, I haven't used them enough to form an opinion. And number 10, a nail polish that doesn't get enough love. For me, this is more a brand than anything else. And in particular, a particular part of a line inside a brand. And that would be Layla. This is Layla's holographic or hologram effect nail polish. Uh, this one happens to be in Coral Glam. Uh, this is one of the most gorgeous holographic polishes that I have ever seen and the whole hologram effect line from Layla is gorgeous like this. They also have other polishes, um, different types of polishes. So in general, I think that this is a brand that doesn't get enough love. Um, not sure how easy these are to get hold of. They can be a little difficult to get hold of. But they are so gorgeous and totally worth it. So that would be my answer to that one. So that was my version of unpopular opinions. I would put a disclaimer about offending people or not offending people or whatever, but the topic is unpopular opinion, so there are some people who are not going to agree with me, and that's just the way it is. So, if you liked this video and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, then click the subscribe button down the bottom, make sure you click the bell so you get notifications, leave me a thumbs up if you like nail polish type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and don't forget, I will be linking Tina and Jody down below so you can go and check them out as well. And I will see you in my next video. See ya!